What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, Cashio has died on me. That's fun. My fault entirely. I got tired of waiting for the 560 drivers. And I decided not to reinstall it because I also got tired of uh, waiting for anything. Because, yeah, and I hate fish. Fish just messes with my head. Argue all you want about that, but I don't like it at all. Uh, today's video is actually about a program called Warehouse. And there's two ways we can install it. One is through Flathub here. So Warehouse, yeah, I said that on purpose. It manages all things flat packs, which is something sorely needed to replace Discover. Because Discover is horrible. Uh, GNOME software, on the other hand, is amazing. And I don't really have any issues with it. The only problem I do have is when it tries to update the system. And that pisses me off. So... We're going to be installing Warehouse. Now, the second way you can install Warehouse is if you're just normally on Arch Linux. I don't know if the flat pack is installed automatically. It is. So you just do flat, if I could spell today, uh, which I seems I can't. Flat pack install Warehouse. Like that. Like, like, god damn it. Like that. <laughs> and when you hit enter, You'll notice that it will ask you uh, if this is the one. And don't worry. This is indeed the one that you want to install it from. Now, I'm going to do it from here because I don't like using GUIs that much for installing things. I like to see what is happening, you know, what's going on. If there's an error, I get to know it. And we are on the 560 drivers on Arch Linux, so we're good for that. Now, Cache OS kernel, again, still my main, but we are on... Oh, I, I messed that up. We're on just Stock Arch. That's it. I just modified Stock Arch. That's where we are right now. Okay, before you ask, still same layout, same stuff. So next, after it's installed, we go to Warehouse, we open it up, and as you can see, it's just a simple little application. And I'm going to stick it here. It shows you which flat hubs are currently installed, which is Warehouse. But if we go over here, we go Install from Web, you can actually search different flat hubs to install. Now, I don't need any flat hubs at the moment due to already having extension manager installed natively in other applications that I use. But for this purpose, once again, Lime 3DS, okay? You hit enter, and there it is. It's going to go and install Lime 3DS. Now, again, I like to see which, what's installing, if it has errors, if it has any issues, but this should pop up if something goes wrong. And it's done. That's it. And now you have Lime 3DS installed. And again, if you needed to, install from web. You can install from file even. So if something has a file, you're good to go from there. Uh, you can manage leftover data. There's none. You can manage remotes. So App Center, Flathub Beta, GNOME Nightly. Like there's a ton. You can even add repo files and custom remote files, which is pretty cool. So if I wanted to go to the Flathub beta, I can turn this on, turn this to system, do whatever I needed to, and I can grab an app that is currently in beta that is on the Flathub. Like if a new version of OBS comes out, I can test it in the Flathub right here, including KDE testing stuff, which is kind of cool. So yeah, honestly, uh, this is a program for the ages. I really do like it. I'm sure there's going to be a thousand people commenting below on a different application that does the exact same thing instead of giving credit where it's due. I'm going to be very frank about this. Look, this video is about this application. It's not about an application that does the same thing. I don't need that. We are talking today about this. So give the developers the respect that they deserve and just have a conversation about this app. Okay. Every time I've done a video about, I don't know, Go App Image, Go Lever, Go Lever, Go Lever, not about Go Lever. If it was, the video would be about Go Lever. And people need to understand this. Developers and a lot of people had issues with Gear Lever. Did you know that? So it was kind of pointless to even put it down there to begin with and really expect much of anything. Now, this wallpaper is not in my Discord. It is too big to fit in my Discord, so I can't really link it to you. Sorry about that. Anyway, moving back to this, I think this is a fantastic app. It's got keyboard shortcuts, as you can see, everything's right there. I mean, search button, if you need to find the app you currently have installed, it's right there. Honestly, I think there should be a search button and a button to search locally for installed apps and then web apps and then another tab for uh file apps so that you can get what you need instead of hiding everything in here 
that would be a much better layout for everything. Now I'm going to maximize this. Yeah, maximizing it just ruins the whole experience. It doesn't scale. It's another app that does not scale with maximizing. And it, come on, really? I'm going to show you what it does. So check that out. We have all this available space. Search didn't improve. Nothing improved. Everything's still the same. Now what they could do is when it scales, the search button could totally just move right here. Okay. The applications could move to the side. Then over here, it could list the dependencies for the things, the extras that were installed with it. It could show the date and the version number. All right. And it could also show the ability to downgrade over here. That would be a big plus. That way, when you scale, you get the most out of your screen instead of this. Same thing goes for Rayojinx and many other applications. It just, they don't scale very well. So, uh, with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. This thing is actually pretty damn cool. And I showed you how to install it. It should install on Arch Linux, Ubuntu, anything with Flathub installed or Flatpaks. Okay? So don't forget to the like button, don't forget to subscribe, give the developers the respect they deserve, and give this thing a shot, comment below on this application, not other applications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.